Welcome to section one, navigating and highlighting workbooks. When we think about improving our productivity in Excel, we need to be focusing on the things that we spend the most time doing. Some of the most common things we do in Excel are navigating around workbooks and highlighting data. For this reason, expert navigational skills are foundational to becoming a mouse-free power user. In this section, we'll learn how to navigate around spreadsheets quickly and effortlessly without the mouse. Also, in case you missed it on the course requirements page, I'm using a full regular PC keyboard with a number pad. This is different from the keyboard on a laptop. The difference is that the function keys, F keys, are separate on my keyboard, and I also have keys like home, end, page up, and page down in a small group above my arrow keys. While this course is very possible with a laptop keyboard, the fastest way to use Excel is with a regular keyboard. If you don't already own one, I would consider buying one. I use a very basic and inexpensive keyboard I bought on Amazon for like $10. You don't need anything fancy. In the first lecture of this section, we'll cover how to navigate around a spreadsheet and highlight blocks of data using keyboard shortcuts. In the second lecture, we will learn about jumping large distances within a sheet and also navigating across tabs very quickly. Finally, in the third lecture, we'll drill the skills that we just learned in a series of practice exercises. Now, let's jump into lecture one and get started. Lecture one, basic navigating and highlighting. Under the concept menu, you'll see the skill that we're going to learn. And under the instructions menu, you'll see the keystrokes that we use. First, let's review how to navigate between cells. To navigate between cells, just use the arrow keys. Up, down, right, and left. This skill is pretty easy. But if we want to move faster, we need to use control. So first, let's navigate to the word instructions. How can we get to the bottom of this block of data in one keystroke? Hold control and hit the down arrow. What control does is it allows us to skip to the edge of a block of data. But if I'm already at the edge of a block of data, I will skip all empty cells until I reach the next edge of a block of data. For instance, now I'll hold control and press the down arrow again. You'll see I skip to the next section. Now I'll hold control and just start experimenting, moving around in different directions. Control up, control down, up, right, down, down. Practice on your own until you get the hang of this one. Now let's back, move back to the word instructions. To highlight data, we need to hold the shift key and then use the arrows. So if I hold the shift key and then start pressing the arrow down, I'll highlight a block of data. If I hit the right arrow, I'll highlight to the right. Pretty simple. But to highlight a block of data even faster, we need to hold Control and Shift at the same time and then use the arrows. Let's try this. Navigate back to the word instructions. Now hold Shift and Control. The order is not important, but I'll need to hold them both and hit the down arrow once. In this keystroke, we've combined the features of Shift to highlight and control to skip to the edge of our data block. If you hold control shift and then press the left arrow, you'll see that you highlight a whole chunk of data. We'll be practicing this a ton through the course, but practice on your own in your practice file. Now, let's highlight a row. Hold shift and then press the space bar. This is a very useful skill when inserting or possibly formatting rows. Now to highlight multiple rows, simply Highlight the row like we just did, and then while holding shift, use the up or maybe the down arrows. Now, let's highlight a column. Very similar to highlighting a row, but in this case, we just hit control and space. And to highlight multiple columns, hit control space like we just did, and then holding shift, use the right or the left arrows, exactly like highlighting rows. Here's the last skill before we do a little practice. To highlight all cells, hit Control A. If you're in a block of data, you'll have to hit this twice. Let's give this a try. Control A, and once more, Control A. This is useful when you're changing something like the font or the text size of the entire spreadsheet, which is something that I do all the time. And one more tiny thing. 
There's another way to do this with the mouse by clicking the top left corner of the spreadsheet like so. 99% of things are faster in Excel without a mouse, but if there is a quick mouse trick here and there that I know, I'll share it with you. This course isn't about following some strict set of rules, it's about getting really fast in Microsoft Excel. Okay, now let's do some practice examples. Getting fast is all about repetition. If you're feeling confident, pause the lecture on your own and try these practice examples before continuing with the end of the video. Here's our first one. Navigate to the price header in our data table. Okay, try to do this using the fewest number of keystrokes possible. That's always the goal. I'll use control and the arrow keys for this one. So I'll hold control, press the right arrow once, and the down arrow once, and the down arrow once more. Three keystrokes. Now, move to the bottom row in one keystroke. So hold control and press the down arrow. Perfect. Now, highlight the sales column of the table. So move to the bottom right corner of the table using control and right arrow. Now hold shift and control and press the up arrow. Next, highlight the entire table in one keystroke. Again, we can hold shift and control at the same time and now hit the left arrow once. Now, highlight this row. Using the arrow, move up to the row. Now hold shift and hit space. Okay, now move one row down. Highlight this row and the one above. So hit shift space, hold shift, and now hit the up arrow once. Finally, highlight the whole spreadsheet. Control A, Control A once more. Now that you know the basics for how to navigate around and highlight data, let's learn some more advanced techniques to allow us to make big jumps around spreadsheets in between tabs.